Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy, and in this video we're going to look at some applied problems from the new general curriculum teacher workshop that Go Academy is holding. This is for teachers taking the history and ELA MTELs for the 178, the 73, and the 76. Use this video and this series of videos to help you prepare for your exam. And if you need extra help, you should check out a Go Academy workshop. Just go to GoAcademy.com and you'll learn all about the Go Academy classes, okay? All right team, enjoy the video. Who's ever heard of this enjambment? Maybe you've, you've thought of this term. Maybe you haven't. I mean, have you, has everyone read it? It's how poetry, some poetry styles, the language and the lines kind of rumble and ramble into one another, jambled into one another. Now, it's, it's different than metaphor, simile, hyperbole, and personification. These were sort of the go-to figurative devices, figurative language on the older exams. And now the newer exams, they might have something a little bit more, uh, something a little different, right? Here, let's look at an example. This is from the 61 test. Um, first, read it over, and then we're going to talk about it. Let me enlarge it. I'm just going to enlarge the actual writing. Tell me when you've had a chance to read just the writing, okay? okay? Just the question. On your own, go. You can answer this. Honestly, you can answer this just by reading the first stanza. That's a hint, team. The answer can always be found in the first stanza of these poems. You should be able to find it in the first stanza. So, so maybe just read this over twice, the first stanza only. Read the first stanza over twice. Give me a thumbs up when you read it. Now, who sees in it, if you're just thinking about more traditional ideas, who sees the, the somewhat repetition of sounds? I mean, claw, I mean, the sa and the kla and the ka. It's actually not repetition of sounds because you have three different Cs, right? This is the, the S sound. That's the kla sound. That's the ka sound, right? So if you were tempted to say, who's tempted to say alliteration? It's not. It looks like alliteration, but it's not because those three C's each make three different distinct sounds, right? There's the sa, there's the kla, there's the ka. Okay, so it's, it wouldn't be alliteration or anything like that. But there is some, there is a little bit, the pa, the pra, the praise, the, the soft, the sta. Okay, there's a little bit. Okay. Let's look at the answer choices. Let's look at the answer choices, okay? Which of the following statements best describes how a literary device is used in the poem? Uh, we have here, uh, visual imagery supports a theme of spiritual redemption. Okay, I'll just circle visual imagery. We have a uh, metaphor. There's a metaphor that illustrates connection to the natural world. So this is metaphor. There's uh, alliteration, conveys a sense of order and symmetry. There's enjambment, reflects the uh, con continuity of cultural traditions. Let's just, uh, let's just get rid of all the extra. Let's just pretend that extra stuff is not there. What? Is that okay? I'm just going to erase that. Team, does this have, does it, is alliteration what's going on? Is this like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers? Yes or no? No. So do you agree that we could cross this one off? It's not really, it's not re really Peter Piper picked a pick of peppers. And you can see that with circle, clock, and counter. Okay. 
Is this a visual imagery thing? Does this have roasted bread like dark chocolate and 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 chestnuts? <laughs> nah, it's not really that either, right? When you read this, you're you don't get hungry. Okay, so it's is there a metaphor here? Is there is there a clear metaphor? Nah, it's not really a metaphor either, right? <laughs> not like this one here. Okay. So now we're left with the answer that we already talked about, enjambment, right? Does everyone, now that you know what this is, maybe you didn't know what it is before, does that kind of feel what's going on? The running on of a thought from line to line. Isn't that what's going on in this as, as they describe it? Okay, so, so who would have recognized enjambment before this class? I didn't see it on the old O3. That was not on the old O3. What are you talking about? I never saw it before. So understand that while there may be some things on the old exam, there is going to be in this English section some new ideas. Do you got it, team? All right, team. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I want you to give it a big thumbs up. And if you need help on these exams, you're looking for some additional support, I want you to go to Go Academy's website. You can go to this website right here at www.goacademy.com and you can see all our classes. These are live classes. They have a live component. They're webinars, but they have a live, live webinar component as well as um, full access to all the videos that Go Academy does. I'm sure you're gonna find these classes very helpful if you need the extra help. So check it out if you do. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope everyone has a great day. Take care, team. Bye-bye.